Hello there, dear YouTuber. It is I, Fergus, again with another Microsoft Word tutorial. In this short tutorial, we are going to look at how to insert an image into Microsoft Word and how to control the text wrap to achieve that perfect result. So let's jump right into it and get started with inserting images and text wrapping. So to get started, I'm going to simply just add some placeholder text here. I'm going to add, let's say, 15 paragraphs of placeholder text. Starting on the Home tab, but simply just click where it says Insert. And then where it says here, Picture, click on this little drop-down arrow, and then you get three options. And you're going to want to go to the one at the top, which says This Device. And then simply navigate to wherever you have saved your image and then you can simply click it. You could either double click it or click it once and then go insert. And you see it brings my image in here. Okay, I'm just gonna hit delete on my keyboard and I am going to just place my cursor here after the first paragraph and I'm going to repeat that and let's just watch what happens. So go this device, image, insert. Now notice what happened. Uh, all this text disappeared and it appears after the image. So that's a good thing to note that before you insert your image, just place your cursor wherever you want the image to go after. Okay, let's look at another option. This time, let's open up our Windows Explorer. And here's a very simple method. I can simply just drag it and I can drop it wherever I want. Notice that there is a black cursor line. It's like a bolded, heavy cursor line. This is indicating to me where the image is going to be dropped. So I'm gonna drop it right here after this word. And notice again, it came in um, into my text. So once I have it in there, this is not ideal. I have all of this empty space here. My image is very big. So one thing uh, I can do is I can click on the image just once. So I'll do that again. Just clicking it once. Notice that it changes to this crosshair type of cursor. Clicking it once. And I get these resizing handles. But also here in the top right, I get these layout options. So I'm going to click on that once. And I have these... Uh, seven options. So right away, it starts with in line with the text. So that basically means what I've done. Wherever I dropped the image or inserted it, that's where the image is going to go. Then I have these uh, six other options. So I can click this first one, uh, which is called square. Uh, this wraps text around an image on all sides at right angles as if it had a rectangular box around it. And this is the most common form of text wrapping. So once I have that selected, and then if I go and move it around, you see how the text now is wrapping around the image. I'm just going to drag the corners of my image a little bit, just to make it a little bit smaller so we can see this effect a little bit more clearly. So let's bring this image down pretty small like that. And now I'm going to drag it and notice how the text does exactly, as I said, it wraps around it as if it had a square box around it. Okay, let's click on it again, check the next option. Uh, this one is tight. This is similar to square, but without the rectangular box idea. So text wraps around the edges of the image itself. This is probably more useful if you had an irregularly shaped image. Let's say it was a cutout of an animal or something like that and you wanted the text to go right around the animal. So you're probably not gonna notice much of a difference between this one and uh, this, this square. Other you can just see a slight little uh, movement. There's just a little bit more buffer there. Okay, the next one then is going to be through. Again, this is similar to tight, but text will also fill any white 
gaps within the image. Again, it's not going to be very vis visible with most square images like this because again, it really applies to something that has an irregular shape. So for most images that you insert, these first three options are going to be pretty similar. And in fact, I would just recommend this square one because it does give this little bit of padding around the image. Okay, then after that, you're going to have this top and bottom and text wraps above and below the image. So it is on its own line. This is most useful for larger images that occupy most of the width of the page. So again, if my image were, let's say something like this, that might be a good use case for this kind of text wrap. Then after that, you're going to have uh, this one here. This is called behind uh, the text. This is probably when you're getting a little bit more artistic. So it's going to place an image behind the text, allowing you to add a watermark or a background image on a page. Although Microsoft Word has a separate watermark option too. Uh, which is easier to use in many cases. Now notice here with this image, my image is quite dark. So it would be very hard to see the see the text in this case. W what you could simply do if you were using an image like like the one I'm using, which is, you know, quite dark, simply highlight your text and, you know, change the color and it'll pop out a little bit more. But we were getting into a more kind of artistic realm here. Okay, so I'm just going to on do those last two changes so we can just back up and back up one more time and back up again and then let's just go and check out the very last option which is in front of the text so basically this is putting your image right on top of the text it's not moving anything around you can think about this as a, a layer this is floating on top of the text so uh, you may want to use this for any number of reasons, uh, maybe just to hide some text uh, that you're going to reveal maybe in a lesson or something like that. But so there you have it. Those are the options for wrapping a text around an image. Uh, we also covered how to insert the image, two different ways of inserting the image. We looked at just bringing it in from your device or dropping it right into the image, into the text. And then we looked at the text wrapping. So if you find this video useful, please do like, share and subscribe. Drop a comment below. Let me know how you use these different text wrapping options. And if you have any requests for another Microsoft Word tutorial, please do let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.